Today's how to draw video is snake eyes. I am the snake artist and my mission in life is to get people to appreciate art and wildlife. A big thanks to Grey Wolf who asked me if I would draw a snake eye in the same way that I did the crocodile eye. Now there's a how to draw a crocodile eye video which I will put a link to at the end of this video. But today we're going to be looking at the tiger snake. Okay, I'm using a pencil and just a CD marker. So there's a fine point permanent marker. You can probably use any sort of marker, I think. First thing you need to know about snakes' eyes is that they don't have eyelids. And this here uh, came off one of my pet tiger snakes. And you can sort of see here, there's a clear spectacle. See that? A clear scale over the eye. Now often when you look at things, this is what makes them look savage. If we was going to draw a cartoon of, of somebody who's angry, their eye would probably look like this. You'd have that heavy line there. So that's our cartoon of an angry eye. And because snakes look a bit like that, they look a bit angry. But what it is, is because they have this clear scale here, they have, you can almost just sort of see it here, and we're going to draw it. Maybe look at a live snake. They have this heavy eyebrow going across there. And that gives it that sort of look that they look angry. But they're not angry, they're cute. So let's get started. Let's get started with just like a round circle. So just drawing the eye here. We're going to put a line here, which is just cutting into the circle a little bit. You can, look, you can be scribbly looking. It doesn't matter if you scribble. You can do it like 10 times, 20 times. doesn't matter because this gets rubbed out. So a little bit of a curve there. Here I'm going to do a curve here. It's not going to just be a tiger snake. It's going to be a generic, what I call it, a leopard snake. Front fanged snake. Here we've got a little bit of a, like a triangle. See, there's a triangle there. But it's a bit different. Triangular shape there. Here we've got, I'm going to do like a bracket there, bracket there, shape there. And I'm going to pop another scale here, another one here. And this one here is sort of going down to where the lip is, like that, that should do. Now, the funny thing about these guys is they've got very dark eyes with like a little gold ring inside. It's the same with mambas, tiger snakes. So I'm putting, first of all, a circle in here, like this. I'm going to put a circle outside that. And if you don't think it's right, just go over it. Like I say, you, know, you can do a hundred lines, it wouldn't matter. So now the light is going to shine down here. It's going to light up bits here. So we're just going to put some shapes through here. I'm going to probably, first of all, just put a bit of a shape there like that. Maybe there. I might put a stripe through there. They're sort of often irregular shapes in nature. This is when you don't have camera or camel flashes. You don't just get like a round circle there. You do sometimes, but usually you get sort of shapes like that in nature because it's usually reflecting the gap between the trees in a lot of the time. Now, 
around these scales here I'm going to go like this I think we're going enough, I think we're going to go in I'll just put a bit of that one in there I'm going to go in with the marker pen now nice thick bold line darken that bit so I'm going over what I've done before just going over it just sometimes at this stage I might do little corrections but I think I'm pretty happy with how that went so I don't have to do too much corrections now within here make sure there is a bit of a circle now see where that little mark is I'm going to just dot here put one in there going to dot there like that I'm going to make these dots get closer and closer together go over them a few times until it's just about all black and around here I'm going to make this black I might just leave a little bit of white there, see that? Little bit of white and go up this side and probably a bit more dottiness there. Now here I might actually put in another little bit of a bit there. You can see where I put those highlights before. Just go around. So I'm doing an inside black bit and just going around the bits that go in there. Now remember what I said before, you could put like 20, 30, 50 lines there, it doesn't matter because we have the eraser and we are going to erase bits out. Now I might grab some coloured pencil. I want to get a really golden orange here. And I can't emphasize how brilliant this orange is. It is a real bright gold. I'm going to stick a little bit of yellow up here, blending that in. Just scribble right on top, just gives that yellow tinge. And then go a little bit of red. So I'm putting a little bit of red in there, so we've got a little bit of a mixture of colours. It's looking good. Going back to this grey pencil. Grey up some of this. I think what's nice here, as I put some shading in, is that I'm not putting any other colour in it. The only colour we get is that gold and that makes that gold stand out. So here, we are drawing what looks like the angry ridge. Now the reason it looks angry, I've said this in other videos, is because well, you see that clear scale there they don't want that scale scratched and this guy is sliding through grass and so he wants to be able to have the grass go past there without so much touching the eye it just scrapes against this bit here 
see if my shading here just, just a little bit of gentle shading there there and there and here just very gentle so I'm going to leave the light bits doing very gently If I do a shade like that, leaving the light bits there, except for here where I go in darker. And there's our snake's eye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about drawing the snake eye. I'm going to do another video on how to draw a python eye next and that's going to sort of help you understand the difference between a ground dwelling snake and an arboreal snake. Until then, I'll see you next time.